Most of you have probably a list of things you got to do every single day. And monitoring is probably not at the top of that list. But it is something that should be done on a regular basis. Now, what I've always done as a director is I normally move the monitoring around to different people. So, for example, I'm going to go right down from the top. This week, it's Bill's job. Next week, it's Cal's job. Next week, it's Cliff's job. Then Corey. Move it around your IT department. Make it so that when it's their week, they have to monitor it. If you normally leave it in your own hands or just in one person's hands, it gets overlooked. And this can end up causing you issues. One thing you should always try to teach your IT people. One of the first things on Monday that should be checked is your monitoring tools. Including the event viewer. Because a lot of event viewers are set up to where as new events come in, they override the old events. And if I only check the event viewer every once, every two or three weeks, I might not have seen that three weeks ago somebody was trying to hack into one of my servers. Because those events got overwritten. So it's a good practice to try to at least look at your logs once a week. Because also, that can start letting you know if you're going to have a problem. Now, there is a new tool, and I did a little webinar on this. So you can go out and watch a little webinar on this if you want. It's still out there. You can ask support and they'll get you the link. But I did an hour-long webinar on the Windows Admin Center. This is a new utility that you can download for free and put like right on Windows 10. One of the things that the admin center allows you to do is it allows you to do a thing called System Insights. It's a forecaster. It will let you know based on what the system's doing, how much traffic's hitting it, if you're going to run into a problem down the road. It literally could forecast out saying, hey, this server, based on the traffic load and based on what's on the box, doesn't have enough RAM. Or it's going to run out of hard drive space. It's an actual forecaster. It comes included with the Windows Admin Center. And that is a free download. So that is one way that you can do some monitoring. Another way is by using server tools like the Event Viewer, Performance Monitor. One of the things that people have a problem with is the event viewer. It's because they don't realize there's a lot of information in the event viewer if you know what you're looking for. Okay? There's a lot of information. So, real quickly, I just want to show you a trick so that if you run into an issue, how you can go about solving it. When you go out to the server... And you go into Event Viewer. Come on, close. The main logs that we look at are the application security and system logs. The setup log is there for when you're setting up something. So, for example, if I go to the system log, and I scroll down. I mean, you can filter this, but you will find errors. The problem you got to figure out is this is, is this error something that's going to cause me a problem? Now, one of the ways that you figure this out is by looking at the event ID. By taking that event ID, and putting it out into Google or Bing, you will find sites that will, including Microsoft, that will tell you what's causing the error and how to fix it. Now, listen, there are going to be errors that you get 
that are no fault of your own. An example, under my security log, I was getting a whole bunch of actual editor, uh, uh, errors. Okay? No, I take that back. I'm sorry, it was under system. It was actually under system. I take that back. It was under system. I went out and I sat down at my server one day, opened it up, and I saw hundreds of errors. And they were the exact same error. It was a DCOM error, gave me the event ID, and I had hundreds of them. And I started to think to myself, oh my God, I got something going on here. I got a major problem. The problem was I didn't know what it was yet. It took me about three hours to figure it out. But what it was... I had users that were not logging off the domain at the end of the day. Now, believe it or not, when you log on to the domain, the network knows you're there. And it does periodic check-ins with you. What happened was people were just shutting their laptop and walking out. They weren't logging off. So when this update went to happen, the server would be like, Laptop one, are you there? Laptop one, are you there? Laptop one, are you there? And after the third attempt, it would throw an error into my event log. Now, it wasn't an error that was actually causing me any issues. I didn't know that at the time. I just saw hundreds of errors. So after figuring it out, I sent out an email and said, hey, listen, at the end of the day, everyone needs to log off the domain. You're causing my servers to have errors. The next day I came in and I had just as many errors. Not a single person listened to what I said. But the thing was, at that point, I knew what the error was. I knew it wasn't causing issues. And I knew it wasn't something that was going to blow up my server. So at that point, I just ignored it. But. I wouldn't have even known that unless I did the research to figure it out. When you're doing monitoring, and there's all kinds of tools to do this, the admin center, okay, performance monitor, network monitor, Wireshark, okay, and hundreds of other utilities. When you run across these problems, you got to do the research. Because if you don't, you could end up having a problem that's going to escalate to where you crash. Another thing you always want to make sure you monitor for is sound. Ready? All of you that have heard this before know exactly what this is. That means your hard drive's dying. If you walk into your server room and you hear that clicking, you got a problem. Now, unfortunately, you don't hear that with solid state drives. But you do with regular old good old fashioned hard drives. When you hear that clicking, you better figure out where it's coming from, and you better get it fixed quickly. Because normally that clicking is the last step before it completely dies. So not only is it looking at stuff, it's also listening for stuff. Because anyone out here who's ever heard that clicking knows that sound. Now I always tell a story, and that's where I think JC or somebody, or yeah. I, I did this before I lost my hearing, so it wasn't, but... I was an actual EMT for many years on my local fire department. I was a firefighter and EMT volunteer. I had that clicking going on in my server room one day and we couldn't figure out where it was coming from. I mean, if you've ever opened up a server rack 
and heard that clicking, it bounced off the walls. I mean, it's almost impossible to tell where it, it's coming from. So I, I don't know why I thought about it, but I said, you know, um, I got a stethoscope out in my truck. And I went and grabbed it, put it on, and put the actual stethoscope on every single server. And as soon as I put it on the one that was clicking, I knew exactly which box it was. From that point on, I always went to Rite Aid and bought a $15 stethoscope and kept it in the server room. Now, that's probably something that nobody would really think about. I mean, and I don't even know why I thought about it. But these are the little things you learn as you're trying to do this stuff. But monitoring is more than just looking at stuff. It's listening to stuff. Monitoring is more than just servers. It's your firewalls. It's your routers. You got to be monitoring all of your stuff. And I would highly recommend, if you haven't done so already, download and use the Windows Admin Center. Because you can do all of your monitoring, including the event logs through the Admin Center, and also do forecasting. 